Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, y'all best believe I was not expecting to get not just one reveal, but a double reveal. Ah! Okay, let's just get into so, it. So, an official Shadow High just posted like not even an hour ago this first look at the Storm Twins. Yes, yes, they are. They are coming. They are on their way and they are looking better than ever. I mean, damn. Again, I was, I gotta tell y'all, I was not expecting these Storm Twins to get revealed so soon. I mean, I was definitely expecting them to be the like exclusive dolls to be sold at the event that's happening in like, what, two weeks, one week? But not, not for them to get revealed. I mean, that means that these are not the exclusive dolls are gonna be sold at the event. Girl. I mean, I hope so, because like, oh my god, but um, because it seems like that's going to be the four pack. But honestly, I don't know. Let's get into the actual, let's look at, this. let's look at these two girls, okay? First up, we have Veronica here on the left, and I'm so glad they depicted her with the bubble gum. But I'm actually hoping that they, that that's an actual piece you can put in her mouth. But again, also, if there were a piece, then there would have to be a hole in her mouth. And like, that might look really awkward when the bubble gum bubblegum is not in her mouth so I don't know I don't know it's a cool effect here in picture but like uh, maybe it's best she doesn't actually have a little hole in her mouth for the bubblegum piece to go into you know what I mean like maybe it's not a best idea but um she no, oh my god Veronica here she has a, they both have so much accessories like her headband and then behind her headband she has like two huge bows with two huge like gems and then her outfit is like a tweed kind of chanel two-piece inspired um almost like bella's but obviously darker and the sleeves the fur like little t details and then the top she's wearing underneath is like a, a like a bralette almost and it has like a sh, -S -H kind of logo on it in silver and i'm so glad she has like over knee boots they are both wearing boots but hers are very like pleathery shiny material um and they're both have it. they're both debuting the uh, new super super long nails that they have in the show um a lot of us were speculating if they could actually pull that off in like bow version and yes they can because uh here they are with super long nails um and it's honestly crazy to think that they just made their debut a month ago yeah that's the first time we saw them in episode two and now we're already getting their dolls or like at least the first picture of their dolls like that it's just I'm crazy, insane, insanity, you guys. By the way, I'm also living for these new purses that they're both sporting, and they're both different. Uh, here, Veronica here, she's she has like a really cute purse that's kind of like curved with little uh, spikes underneath, and then Naomi on the right, she has like kind of like a bigger purse. Uh, it's it, they're both oh my god they're both like so detailed moving on to Crazy. naomi uh she has a similar hairstyle like stella where it's like two little pigtails up on top and then like little side bangs um her face is precious i love both their makeups it's like little hints of a rainbow um they both have dark lips oh they both have earrings i'm not sure if it's the same type of earrings i think they're both different types of earrings um and then she has a really huge fur coat that's also reminding me of stella's fur coat and then her two piece here is pleathery material like and has a lot of studs all over glued on stunning precious amazing spectacular incredible show-stopping the moment um she's the moment <laughs> they both also have like really nice hair it's in a really like deep purple with mix and blue hues and black and it's like a whole thing so oh my god but like by far the, my favorite part about her are her boots again they both wear boots but hers are just much more interesting i mean look at these boots they're like monochromatic they have like little cracks in them honestly kind of reminding me of um catty noir like her whole dress her whole like shattered kind of glass aesthetic that's kind of what what this is reminding me of like these little shatters cracks in the boots the whole ongoing pattern and then a monochromatic rainbow rainbow finish over them and a like really nice sheen um and both boots Boots seem to be made out of fabric with the new kind of style where the actual heel is plastic but the uh, the rest is actual fabric that's attached to the plastic heel and so it's easier to kind of slide, like slide up as we've seen with Natasha's second pair of boots and of course Nicole's um, second, second pair of shoe, shoe slash boots uh, not no not boots but like shoe slash high, high knee over over knee 
b uh, shoes <laughs> it's a weird combination but you know what i mean they both have that new kind of style oh same goes for mila her second pair of boots are also in that same kind of fabric slash plastic heel uh over any uh boot style so they're really they're really integrating this new design uh here with a lot of new dolls and it really works because the boots look less bulky and they look more realistic and dynamic and that's oh, so stunning. Oh and by the way maybe it is kind of like shattered glass or maybe it's just a crocodile print honestly it could be anything it's just that's what it reminded me at first glance and then she does even seem to have gloves on and she of course also has the same manicure and long nails like her twin sister. So yeah those are the twins the storm twins uh they look really gorgeous uh I also think they have like the new new uh face mold head mold where it's like the uh quote alien head mold where it looks like slimmer at the bottom uh bigger wider at the top which a lot of people actually don't like that head mold but it's used on them and everyone seems to be loving these two so maybe uh times are changing <laughs> um the yeah also new eyes and overall i just i also like the freckles the, the detail it's just these two have so much detail like oh my god are you serious i'm kind of scared they're gonna cost a ton of money you know because they just look so good together and they are coming in a two-pack but it's just like ugh. and i am happy that these are not going to be the ones that are going to debut at the event because if these were going to be the dolls they were going to debut they wouldn't have debuted them already they clearly said that they were going to have a surprise and so i'm, I'm happy these are just going to be sold normal and that they're just planning something even better apparently for the That's event. obviously not the only reveal we have in this video because we actually got a picture from Ainsley on the official Rainbow High Instagram account as well and they even I think shaded Monster High um okay and here is <laughs> Miss Ainsley Slater I believe is her last name um Look at her. Oh my, we've been waiting for Ainsley and Aiden dolls forever. And at least we're getting Ainsley now. I do hope we're getting Aiden as well. Cause it's been, it's been so long. Like since the moment they debuted in the show, we've wanted dolls from them and they kept us waiting. And at least we have Ainsley now and she looks stunning. Her outfit is exactly how it looks like in the show, her ponytail. And she does have the same head mold, um, like the original wave one. That's okay. I feel like it works on her, um, her whole, palette is very dark very like dark purple almost black um and again the outfit super detailed one sleeve only the belt is a new mold just the detail on the buttons and then this, the design the cut i mean look at the look at this girl i'm just honestly i i was not surprised for some reason but i was just super happy to see that she actually is finally getting her own doll i feel like that's the main emotion i felt when i saw her i was like i was like i was not like overwhelmed i was not like oh my gosh she looks amazing i was more like yes she looks amazing but i'm also just happy to see her you know like finally thanks to here. it ashton silverstone we also have this now official listing amazon listing of her playset the fashion studio 2.0 that uh is gonna come with this doll i guess um, so she, this doll that we just saw is going to be exclusive to the set like Avery was and then she's going to come with a bunch of other stuff and in the description we actually get even more The description intel. reads Ainsley Slater may be the new girl at Shadow High but her talent for accessory and fashion design speaks for itself. She's new to these hallways but Ainsley is ready to rule with all her stunning outfits from this trunk show playset. Create over 400 stylish looks, 10 plus fashion pieces, 4 pairs of shoes, hangers and a comb also includes an exclusive fashion features doll. and details ainsley fashion doll create 400 plus looks with 20 plus pieces including 10 plus fashion pieces four pairs of shoes extra wearable fashion for doll four sets plus hangers fashion accessories bracelet purse shoes long gorgeous hair and and her home. release date was supposed to be on may 10th but uh that's not happening anymore <laughs> so i mean I, I'm, I'm i'm assuming she's gonna come out like very soon <laughs> i have some questions like we're getting the exclusive fashion doll of ainsley in that playset right this fashion trunk 2.0 uh and um the doll that we just saw revealed on the official rainbow high account right so that ainsley doll is the one that we're gonna get in that playset now does that mean that once she transfers to <laughs> shadow high she's gonna turn grayscale and we're gonna get a second doll of her or or what is happening? 
house. Because <laughs> remember Amaya, they sold her first in a exclusive little hair playset, and then they uh, released her like officially again in a core series. Is 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 this what's gonna happen to Ainsley? We're gonna get her first appearance in her original Rainbow High attire in the playset, and then we're gonna get her official debut in the core series two of Shadow High or series three, because Sh series two has already been confirmed. So is that what's gonna happen here, or is she just gonna have that one doll with the playset and that's it? And they are never gonna explain what the grayscale situation is and how it's happening and how it's working and how does that work for all the Shadow High characters, but all the Rainbow High characters that go to Shadow High, it doesn't affect them at all. And like how, yeah, I don't think they're ever gonna explain that because it's actually, I, f I forgot to mention that, that's something I wanted to talk about in my last video, reacting on a new episode, is that we actually got to see Violet and like Harper and Daria and all these people in uh, at the end of the episode, we got to see them at Shadow High, but they look normal. So it can't be some some kind of light light trick or some kind of, you know, it can't be anything like that. It's literally like not the school. It's the actual characters themselves that have that grayscale. So I would love to see an explanation for that, please. <laughs> So yeah, I guess we're only getting one Ainsley doll and that's fine by me. She's coming in a place that she's going to be more expensive. So she also looks stunning and I I am glad that she is getting, um, she's going to be sold in her original Rainbow High look. But yeah, I am, I, I'm still like speechless. Like I don't know, I this is real life. Did we actually just get like two of the biggest reveals from Rainbow High slash Shadow High ever? I thought series four, like the reveal was epic, but damn, damn. It's like serious. Shadow High, as much as I, it may not be for me, the grayscale theme, I gotta give it to them. They're like popping off, like left and right, sis. Like they're just, you know, <laughs> ruling the doll streets. That's just crazy. Look at, and like, the twins, they look so good. I definitely need to get them. And uh, you know me, if I get the twins, I'm gonna have to get the series one Shadow High dollies too. And I don't know if I have the money right now, so <laughs> let's just see. <laughs> Shadow High series one hasn't even dropped in Europe. Can you believe it? And we're already getting the twins and Ainsley and series four and Monster High. And brats. That's just insanity. 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 I am going crazy over here. Um, also, them simultaneously revealing the twins and Ainsley is no coincidence, honey. No coincidence. No, 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 no. I am convinced that Ainsley is going to turn out to be a triplet. The long lost <laughs> triplet sister of Veronica and Naomi. I'm convinced. I'm, it has to be. It ha There has to be a connection there. There has to be a connection between the twins, um, Veronica and Naomi, and between Ainsley. It has to be. I know they have separate last names and, you know, like, there's a lot of points that don't make sense. But, like, I mean, come on. It's got to be the big twist of the of the season. It's got to be. I'm calling it now. She, Ainsley has some kind of familial uh connection to the twins maybe she's like a stepsister and she's embarrassed or the twins are embarrassed of Ainsley and her coming to Shadow High is like a huge embarrassment to uh the twins and then they want to get rid of her like I'm just convinced she has some kind of big plot twist about her in this season <sighs> there, there has to be okay I'm done I'm done talking I'm so I'm so tired <laughs> still have to film my brats video on the two-pack pride two-pack oh my god Funny. Oh, and Emilia on Instagram finally got her jewel Richie in the mail. She looks stunning. I'm so happy for you, Emmy. But yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know what you thought of these just surprise, surprise reveals, surprise reveals left and right. I mean, come on. What are we going to get next? Shadow High Series 2 reveal tomorrow? Come on. MGA, I get you have a lot of ideas, a lot of dolls to release, to reveal, to to promote, but I need to bereave, I need to catch my bereft, and I cannot do that if they keep releasing <laughs> first looks at dolls that we're all anticipating. I mean, I am just, <laughs> this is too much, man. But maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe. 
maybe everyone else is coping just fine. <laughs> Let me know what you thought down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out on a post more Rainbow High doll news like this episode reaction videos like I just posted like what two hours ago <laughs> and doll reviews really soon. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.